Right now, I am at beautiful Roy Thompson Park. Oh wait, Tommy Thompson Park, that's what it is. And basically, I'm just gonna be doing a range test with my Mavic Air, see how far it goes. Now, I live in Toronto, and if you guys don't know, the Mavic Air gets so much f interference in a big city. So I came here to Tommy Thompson Park because it's just open waters, there's nothing around. So I figured this would be the perfect spot to do a range test at, right? Now, if you've never been to Tommy Thompson Park, I highly suggest it because it is unlike any other place in the city and you never know what you'll find. This is it. This is where Toronto gets as secluded as it can possibly get. I'm gonna set up the drone right now and let's take it off and I'm just gonna fly it towards the water as far as it can go. Well, not as far as it can go, but I'll get into that. All of this rough surface makes it hard for a drone to launch from. So I gotta find like a nice little launch pad. Maybe something like this. Oh, that's actually perfect. We're gonna be testing how far the drone can go, but you have to realize that you have battery, right? Now, if you fly your drone 50% one way, you only have 50% battery left to come back. So you have to be very smart about that. I've seen a YouTube video where a guy flew his Mavic Air 50% one way with the wind and then coming back, he was just against the wind and he had to land it somewhere on an island and then go get his drone the next day. We don't have any islands here that I can land it on. So I'm hoping to get this drone back in one piece. My guess is that it's gonna be able to go a lot further than what the battery is gonna allow me to go. So, but like, let's just see. I mean, if your drone can fly further than how much the battery allows it to fly, it's a pretty good drone. I'm gonna screen record my screen so you guys can follow along with the distance that the drone is traveling. I can confirm that the wind is blowing this way. So I think returning to home shouldn't be a problem. It's gonna be harder for it to go out into the lake. All right, here we go. The drone is at 98%. I wasted 2%, that's a lot. Um, but let's go, let's take it off. Hey, what you looking at? What you looking at, huh? All right, let's go. Ready, yo, here we go. Oh, shit. Okay, we just hit one kilometer. All right, one kilometer. Oh shit, RC signal lost. What the f All right, I'm, I'm gonna point the, the remote at it. We're approaching two kilometers, guys, and we're already at 69%. What the f We hit two kilometers. Ready, ready? Yo, two and a half kilometers with 60% battery. Okay, let's just hit two and a half. All right, well, f this. I'm scared. I have 58% battery. I'm, I'm just gonna return it. Look how far we went. Oh my God. Do you see how far we went? Jesus Christ. 56% battery. Okay, I think, I think I should be good. I'm kind of not too worried. Let's flip it into sports mode and bring it back. This thing is flying fast, yo. It's almost hitting 70 kilometers an hour coming back. Okay, we're a kilometer and a half away with 47% battery left, 46. So I'm pretty confident it's gonna come back. We'll see when it actually comes back to me how much battery is left. And then maybe for the next battery, I might push it a little bit further. All right, we got 39% battery and we're half a kilometer away. So I'm pretty confident that we don't gotta worry too much about it. Woo, woo! Yo, oops, I still have 30% battery left. I think I could push this a little bit further. I wasn't going to, that was just a joke, but I think I'm gonna have to. So I just popped a new battery in. Um, this time I'm gonna try and not waste that 2% at the beginning. So I'm just gonna take it off as soon as the controller connects to it. All right, here we go, 100%. Let's take it off. It's 
funny, but what it's recording right now, it kind of looks like it's the intro to some production company at the beginning of a movie. I can never figure out when the hell a studio logos end and the actual movie begins. Oh, I bet that's a sea monster. Oh, that's not the movie. We're about to hit two kilometers with 70% battery. Let's see if it can make it to three kilometers with that. 2.5 with 62% battery left. I think we're gonna hit three kilometers easy. 2.8. Almost there. Battery level is low. The aircraft will go to the home point in 10 seconds. Oh shit, okay. It tells you that there isn't enough battery to come back, so it would normally start coming back automatically, but I overrode that and we hit three kilometers with 55% battery. Let's just go 3.5. Ooh, I'm at 50% battery. Yo, I'm, I'm gonna push it. I'm gonna push it. We're almost there. We're almost at 3.5 kilometers. Boom, 3.5 kilometers. Time to bring this shit back. We have 48% battery. Holy crap, look how far that is. Holy shit. You know what? Even I didn't know my drone could go that far. Now to see if it comes back, holy shit. This is the true test right here. I actually don't know if I'm gonna make it right now. Three kilometers at 41%, Jesus Christ. If you watched one of my first Mavic Air videos, I accidentally drowned it. Oh, God damn it. The reason why is because when the drone hits 10%, it starts automatically landing. I literally have 27% battery left to bring it back before it starts auto landing. I'm actually pretty nervous right now. Two kilometers with 33% battery. Yo, this is risky. 30% and we're one and a half kilometers away. I think it's doable. Please make it, baby. Please make it. See that sailboat right there? That's what the drone is passing on the screen right there. Oh no, we got the low battery warning. 19%, 16%, and I see it. Yes, baby, yes. Oh, dude, you are not drowning this time. No, 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 no. No, no, no. You made it, you made it. Baby, were you afraid? Yeah, you were afraid. <laughs> Let me show you guys how good I am at landing this shit. Look how small that is, ready? Oh! <laughs> Look at that guys, 10% battery left. Holy shit, that was the absolute max that I could have pushed this drone. Wow. Now remember, if the wind was the other way around, we would not hit that distance. The only reason I was able to hit that distance was because, wait, what the hell am I talking about? If there was no wind, the drone would go further, right? But then again, I guess the wind did help it come back faster than going towards it. So DJI, you guys advertise this drone as being able to go four kilometers and you know what? I gotta give it to you, you're not lying to us. So if you are at all considering getting a Mavic Air, please go into the links in the description down below. They're Amazon links, I check them, I make sure they are the best prices on Amazon. You might get a better price at your local camera store. And every click goes to support me. I'm kinda skinny here, yo. So thank you guys for watching and I'm gonna go fly my drone through this little gap right there. <laughs> There's another gap here I want to try and get it through. I might make this a new series on my channel, yo. Drone gaps. Can I get it backwards? <laughs> Holy shit! How did it survive that?